All right, so if you go back and practice, you're going to get everything on the previous page as being zero. Now, if something has a positive charge, it probably means that you've got something in there that has a formal charge or like a negative charge. You probably have something in there that has like a formal charge. This one, we probably won't be able to do a lot because nitrogen, he's not one of the elements that has like an expended octet. He's on that row that has to be eight. So let's see what happens with him. So we're going to say nitrogen, he's five valence electrons, minus zero lone pairs, minus four lines. So he's plus one. And remember, all of our hydrogens are going to be zero, but if you weren't sure, you would do it like that. So this charge right here, it happens to match up with nitrogen being having a formal charge of plus one. The way we write it when something has a formal charge is we circle it and we put like a, a sign, like a plus sign or like a minus sign. That's how we indicate formal charge. What we're teaching right now is a huge deal in organic chemistry. So this does come back. So you might just save these notes. Maybe you'll remember that we mentioned it's a big deal in organic chemistry. There's no other options for me to draw for this one because there are no like double bonds in it. So I can't like shift around some double bonds and that nitrogen, there's just not enough electrons for me to move around to fix it. We'll see if a case coming up here though where we can move some stuff around and we can fix it. We'll also see some cases where we can't fix it. By the way, these are going to be all zero. And this is also all zero. So this is where it gets entering is where you've got double bonds involved, especially... Um, notice that we've got oxygens on the outside. This is a nitrogen, though, so just be aware that a lot of times if that element isn't one of the ones with the expanded octet, there's only so much you can do. So let's do nitrogen. So nitrogen is 5 minus 0 lone pairs minus 4 bonds. That gives him have charge of plus 1. Notice that's not the same thing as this negative charge. Let's do our oxygen the one that has a double bond, so I'm gonna write DB above it. So he's six minus, he's got four lone pairs and he's got two bonds, so he's zero. So that double bond of oxygen is very happy. Oxygen does like his double bonds. All right, now let's look at the single bonded oxygen. There's two of them, notice they look alike, so you really only have to do the formal charge for one, but it, it's the formal charge for each of them. That's six. I'm going to do the bottom one. So I've got six valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, I didn't mean to equal sign. Minus, he's got one bond. So this guy has got a negative charge. They each have a negative charge. This is how you would represent this on the molecule. Negative, negative, and positive. Notice that when you add that up, that does equal the total charge of the molecule. And this is zero over here. I don't have other options drawn, except to say that down here, I did do all of these single and double bond options. But even in those cases, like I've got a plus and I've got a minus and a minus there, or I've got a plus and then a minus and a minus there. Do you see how like they all come out to be the same? You can do the formal charge counts on those and double check it. So let's look at this one. This was the one that we did the example with, but let's practice. Let's look at carbon. Carbon is four minus, he's got zero lone pairs and he's got four lines. So he's zero. So in this structure, carbon is zero. When it's zero, you don't write the formal charge down at all. You just don't put anything down. Then we have oxygen. So this is six minus, and then we've got four lone pairs and then we've got two bonds. So that gives us zero. So in this structure, all of the formal charges are zero, zero, and zero. Let's compare it to that other structure, the higher one. So this will be the triple bond one. So when I do this structure, I get the carbon is four minus zero minus four. So the carbon is still zero. I'm gonna do the double bond oxygen first. Or sorry, the triple bond oxygen first. So that gives me six minus two lone pairs, minus, and then I've got three bonds. So that gives me a plus one charge. And then I have the single bonded oxygen, and that's six, minus six, minus one, 
so he's minus one. So you can tell that this structure, again, we've got a plus charge here and we've got a negative charge right there. So comparing the two, we would cross this out. This is not a possibility because we already have a structure that is zero, zero, and zero. So that is the best formal charge. Now again, with resonance structures, I've already drawn the resonance structures, so there aren't like other options, but we can still figure out the formal charges. So we can do this central oxygen. That one is going to be six minus, and we've got two lone pairs, minus three bonds, so that is plus one. So this one's gonna be plus one. And then we have the double bonded oxygen, and he is six minus four minus two, which gives us zero. And then we have the single bonded oxygen, which is six minus six minus one, which is zero. Wait a second, which is negative one, right? <laughs> I was like, how do you get zero? So it is good that these charges are on side-by-side -side atoms. That's like a good thing. But there aren't any other options. Um, I mean, over here, you would get the same thing, but just the negative over there. So we haven't really seen structures change. We've been able to rule out a structure, so that's cool. Let's see if we can figure out some kind of thing about the structures changing. So I'm actually going to jump on down. You'll notice that the central atom here, again, he can only have eight electrons. This one, he can only have four electrons. By the way, all of these are zero. And then in this one, the oxygen is six minus two minus three, which is plus one. And then the hydrogens, they are all going to have to be zero. Notice that that is in sync. They're in sync with each other. But let's look at these three right here. And the reason that we're looking at them is 